we have a New Year's Eve service slash games and food with my church this evening. So, I don't want to go looking like this. So, I thought this would be a perfect time to dive into our elf haul here. I know I want to start with my brow, so I need to figure out where in the world that went. This stuff, why? I, uh, although I get that it's different than like, it's recyclable. I get it, but still. So, we are going to start with this Bite Size Brow Palette. Mine is in taupe. Um, let me look up like what you're supposed to do here, and then we'll keep moving. And we are going to use the new Brow Lift Applicator. Again, meant to go with that clear stuff, but we're just going to make this work. I can always hear him kind of muttering and mumbling. I associate him with the sound of uh, sounds. Do you understand? I said for rain wraps along his back Calls your name, it all fades to black <laughs> We don't talk about Peru, no, 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 no Seriously, Dolores' part is fire in that whole song Here's what the e.l.f. website says. Shape, define, and groom your brows to perfection with this mini brow palette. This all-in-one quad features two highly pigmented matte powders to define prow prowls. Oh my goodness. Define brows and fill in sparse areas plus two waxes to give you shape, soft, your shape, soft, flexible hold. Use with our eyebrow duo brush. To customize your look with ease, whether you want polished brows, amazing arches, or a brushed and bushy finish. Okay. They actually advertise it with using the Eyebrow Duo Brush, which I do have, but it is a um, little bit of a mess. I probably should have ordered a new one. This one could use a good wash. So, I'm going to use just this angled brush to kind of do the other half of what I just watched here in the demo video. All right, so we take the spoolie, dip into the clear, and that is going to set our brows. Okay, then you're supposed to take the darker one and do it where it, where your hair is more sparse. So that would be kind of the tail end for me. Oh, interesting. They're not really staying up as much as I would have hoped. All right, now you're supposed to use the other side of the duo brush, which would be this, but again, mine's dirty. And then you're going to take the powder, let's make sure this is clean, yeah, and use the lighter powder towards the front and the darker powder towards the back. So it's just kind of like going back into that ombre brow trend. Not sure I'm sold on this. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, then darker powder toward the back. Let me see, let me, let me try to take a little bit of powder. Wow, we're seven minutes in and my brows aren't done. See, that's too long for me. That is just, that's too much time on my brows. Yeah, I have no end on that one. I accidentally shaved it off. Mm, I'm not sold on that. I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more. Oh, look, it looks like I have it in my brow. Oh, don't know about that. I'll have to play with that some more. I'm not 100% sold. Like I said, we're seven minutes in and I'm still dealing with my brows. Normally, brows are like, boom, 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 moving on. So, that's that's iffy for me. We'll have to play with that some more. <sighs> Put some lavender syrup in my coffee. Mm. It's good stuff. Okay, for eyes, we have two things we're going to try out. I just spit coffee everywhere. What I want to do is test this primer on one side and then my regular Milani on the other. So this is the Putty Eye Primer. Um, like I said in the haul of this, which was in a vlog, I had one of these in the past, but it was so dry that I figured it was a dud. So this was um, like a dollar something. So I thought, well, let's try it again. I got it in the shade Rose. It is definitely creamier than the other one. So I'm thinking the one I had was a fluke. So let's put this on the left eye. Okay, that canceled out my veins nicely, which is something that Milani doesn't do, but we all know Milani holds shadow very well. So on this eye, the right side, we'll put 
a little bit of Milani. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of bronzer in the crease because we are going to play with a no bud shadow stick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my NYX bronzer pop it right here okay so what we have I'm hoping this is like a well besides the bronzer I'm hoping this is like a one and done shadow deal this is the no budge eyeshadow stick in ice cream it's from the mint melt collection here is what it looks like and I will say on the no budge side of things I got a shower I used face wash. I wash my hands. I mean, obviously my hands are getting washed in the shower and this was still on there after my shower. So no budge. They mean what they say. All right. So let's go in on this side with the Milani. I'm just going to put it all over the lid. Just a really pretty shimmery gold collar. Let's see what it does when I try to move it out with my finger. Okay. It pretty much disappears. So put some of that back on there. It is pretty. Now let's try on the putty side. As far as application, they pretty much look the same on both sides. I will say the putty side seems to be grabbing a little bit better, like kind of holding where I place it, whereas this side on the Milani is kind of still sliding around. So that may make a difference. Actually, I'm going to use this brow powder because it's probably just eyeshadow, let's be honest. I'm going to take a little bit of this dark brown brow shadow whatever and just pop it right here in the corner see makeup can be what you need it to be there it just gives me a little something just a little something something so okay we will check that out later now what are we gonna do I'm, I'm sweating okay I didn't get a mascara I I'll be honest I've tried a couple mascaras from them the lash it loud um, I have not tried the big mood, but the ones I tried in the past, I've never been super impressed by. So I didn't really even bother purchasing a mascara from them. So I'm just going to go in. I don't think I got a liner either. So I'm going to put a little bit of my KBD brown liner on, and then I'm going to pop on some Essence Volume Stylist uh, Lash Extension Mascara. If you have not seen the video where I compared the whole Lash Princess line and two of these from the Volume Stylist, check out that video. I will link it for you. I'm going to do eyeliner and mascara, and I'll be right back. Something I forgot to mention was that I did pick this up. This is the Enhancing Lash and Brow Serum. I didn't get it in this haul. I got it from Ulta, but I have been using it at night. I It's only been like three days, so I will update you on this Uh probably when it's run out um, in an empties video but I did purchase this and I am trying it I put it on the top and then I like take it let me show you so here's what the applicator looks like I take it on the top and then I just go under and kind of fluff it up so I put this with my nighttime skincare I will update that update you on that eventually <laughs> alrighty I did purchase two of these. This is the Lux Lash Kit, winged and bold. It says one pair of lashes and one tweezer. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to put these on off camera. I hope this is focused. I'm getting a new phone in a couple weeks because my camera's not wanting to act right. So, I'm going to put this on off camera though because it is painful for me. It's probably going to be painful for you. So, I'll be right back. Alright, lashes are on. I love it. I love this style. How they're like shorter toward the front and more long and wispy toward the end. Okay, let's move into face. So, we have two primers to test. On one side, we're going to use the new e.l.f. Power Grip Primer in clear. And on one side, we're going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop do primer let me see like I said in the haul they kind of describe what's best for who and I want to read their recommendations so let me pull that up okay so the oh they're both dewy oh okay so the power grip primer is ten dollars the, the finish is dewy it says it grips makeup for all day wear key ingredients hyaluronic acid this one, it says, also for $10, the finish is dewy, grips makeup while hydrating skin, hyaluronic acid, and watermelon extract. So if I'm not mistaken, the only difference is the watermelon extract. 
And then just for anybody wondering, it says the Poreless Putty Primer Finish Flawless <laughs> uh, smooths over imperfections and helps minimize the appearance of pores. Key ingredient, squalene, squalene. All right. Apply evenly to face before makeup using fingertips. The warmth of your finger helps to melt product. Allow 30 seconds to dry. So we're going to go on this side with the Power Grip Primer. Oh my gosh. That is thick and that is sticky. Okay, warmth of my fingers will help melt the product. That This has to be their version of the Milk Makeup Gripping Primer. Yeah, watch. Okay. Sticky, yes. Gripping, yes. Does it have a cooling sensation? I think it does. No smell. All right, let's go in on this side with the Jelly Pop. Isn't this supposed to be that too? Seriously, I think that they're just giving us the same thing. Minus the watermelon extract. Okay, so here's this one. It's clear. Very faint watermelon. Okay, that feels exactly the same. Does this one say anything? Did I already throw it away? Let's see. Um, Hydrating collection. Sheer color, dewy skin, and a healthy glow. Apply evenly to face. Wait 30 seconds before makeup application. Okay. So on this side we have the power grip. This side we have the jelly pop. Let me wipe my hands off. They're both tacky. I seriously think the only difference is the watermelon extract. Okay. This side is a tad bit more sticky, tacky. So let me put on concealer. And then we'll go ahead and put on foundation. I do not have an L foundation. It's not one that I'm particularly fond of. Um, so I will pick out a foundation that I know and like and know how it wears so we can test these primers. Okay, so I am going to be using for foundation the Hard Candy Camouflage Full Coverage Foundation. This is in vanilla, but I also have the new sponge to test out. The angled silicone face sponge. Use the silicone base to apply foundation using a bouncy motion to blend into skin. Use the sponge side to apply and blend product. Can be used wet or dry. Clean with mild soap water. Okay, so mine's, I guess I could go get it wet. But I'm going to be honest, I usually use my sponges dry, so let's test it true. But let's try this silicone side. We're just going to go light. Okay, let's see what that does first. And again, using this silicone bottom. Oh, that feels so weird. And this is the Jelly Pop primer side. I feel like you can kind of see my pores more. Let me put just a little bit more and blend it out. I don't know if that's just a silicone sponge or a combination of the primer, but like you can very much see my pores. Oh, I don't like how that looks. Okay, let's go in on the other side and I'm just going to use my regular face sponge. I'm going to give it a little spritzy poo. And let's blend out on this side and this is the Power Grip primer side. Yeah, let's go over this side with this regular sponge because my pores are not, uh-oh, had a little bit of transfer. My pores are not happy on this side. Nope, that's not really doing anything. It's so tacky, it's not moving. Not a fan of that. I literally have lint sticking to my face on this side. I don't really prefer it on either side, but it definitely looks better excuse me, on this side, which is the power grip side. I don't know, maybe we put too many variables at once to try to test all that. Do not care for the Jelly Pop side, but was it a combination of this and the primer? I don't know. Let's see if this will help anything. We have the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in Fair Light. Emily Noel was all about this, and let me tell you, this is one of the smoothest softest powders I have ever felt in my entire life. So let's take some under the eyes. I think it's adding a little bit of darkness right there. 
Yeah. Darn it. And this is very light, too. I really don't like how it looks between my eyebrows. I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to apply just the power grip to both sides because I'm not liking the jelly pop side at all. So much better. So much better. Yes. So much better. So, I'm not going to rule out the jelly pop just yet. I'm definitely thinking the silicone had something to do with it. So, we're going to test this again and this again. Not together, but we're going to try that another time because I'm thinking the combination of that may have been the problem, but I actually need to look presentable to leave the house. So, all right, let's go ahead and, and reapply the powder. I'm thinking this isn't the best powder for your under eyes, but like now I have to make a match because um, it does add a little bit of darkness, but for all over the face, not bad. All right, so I use the putty bronzer all the time. Um, I actually have two shades, one for bronzing, one for contour, but got, they have this new brush, the putty bronzer brush. Um, doesn't really say anything. This angled brush makes it easy to get the sun kiss glow. Semi stiff synthetic bristles easily pick up the bronzer and hug the contours of your face for seamless blending. Swirl the brush into the bronzer, buff and blend into skin. All right, sounds pretty easy. All right, let's go in with the actual bronzing shade. I realize I'm putting this over powder, but we're just gonna have to work with what we got. All right, so swirl. This is Honey Drip, Place, and Buff. Let me look at it up close. Actually, it's a little small. Oh, I had a, oh, I forgot. Okay, we'll have to try, okay. That'll have to be another video. I had a brush for my foundation and I forgot to try. You know, I'm not mad at this. Again, I wish, okay, did that just, no. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but nor normally my process is two steps because I'll take it with um, a flat brush, place it, and then go in with a sponge. So the fact that I can do kind of a two-in-one here, that's nice. But again, I do wish it was a little bigger. Do I think this is like absolutely necessary for the putty bronzers? No. Um, if you happen to get it, I think it's fine. We are going to be trying out the Luminous Blush in Radiant Peach. Uh, gives the cheeks a flush of vibrant color for, for a lift from, lit from within glow. The finely milled shimmer blends seamlessly into cheeks and adds natural looking dimension for radiant blush. Okay, I did mention this in the haul. I think that this is a dupe for the NARS orgasm. It is a little bit more on the peachy side than the pink side, but the actual application and blend is very NARS orgasmish. So, let's take some of this. Very NARS orgasm. Definitely NARS Orgasm-ish. Okay, so for highlighter, I do have a dewy jelly highlighter, but it is so gold, it's way too dark for me. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam Palette. I'm going to use this middle shade on the top row. All right, we have this. Not going to use that right now. We have this Mint Melt. We'll use that later. Definitely using this tonight. The Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. We're going to try that against my Clinique. Um, okay, this is one thing we're going to have to try another day. The Medium Oval Complexion Brush. So we'll put that with the Jelly Pop Primer and the blender because we're gonna have to test those again this is the primer infused it's technically a blush it was one of the only free things that looked semi interesting and it's an always spicy but i thought maybe it would be dark enough for me to use as a bronzer probably a big mistake it's it's very reddish rosy undertone yep too much <laughs> okay this is another one that is just not gonna work for me probably I'll keep it in my kit because this could work if I use on a darker complexion. Ordered some more of these must-haves. So my other set of these lashes, again, winged and bold. Love them. Here is the jelly highlighter. That's another thing. It didn't have a top on it. So not bad. Kind of shocked though it didn't have any type of cap on it. That is the jelly highlighter in Dew. This is just not going to work for me. And I think that is it. Did I not get any type of lip? What? No lip. 
Okay, this is like the only lip I have from e.l.f. This is their matte lip crown in wine. Also, exciting, I used this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum for my concealer. I'm impressed by it. That'll have to be another video. I still have this full bag of stuff to test from Ulta. We're going to throw the Jelly Pop Primer, the complexion brush, and the sponge in here. We definitely need to test those again. Okay, so thoughts. Nice powder. Super smooth. Great for the face. Not so great for the under eye. Even though this is fair light, it did add a little bit of uh, yellowy-ish tint right there. So not a fan for the under eyes, but I think that this would be like a nice touch-up powder. Jelly highlight, nice. A little too dark, but it was free. Um, the putty bronzer brush, nice, not necessary. Putty eye primer. Let's take a look at that again. Oh, my lash just lifted up. Dad, burn it. I literally tried so hard with this lash. Um, I actually am not mad at the Putty Eye Primer. Uh, I think just really keep the lid tightly closed and I think it'll be fine. I do like how it covered all of my veins in my eye. So that was actually nice. This eyeshadow stick, I actually really like it too. Like the shade, like the wear, it has dried down. So that's not bad. Like that could be kind of a quick eyeshadow look that kept together. The eyebrow. I like that I was able to draw on my tail. Um, I usually have a hard time doing that with the Fiber Fix Brow Gel and my Wet n Wild pencil because it needs something to cling on to. But because I had that clear gel and then I went in with the powder, it actually stuck. So that is a plus, but I am going to have to play with that some more. Let's put that in the bag as well. Love the lashes. Really happy I got two pairs of those. Uh, the Luminous Blush is fine. It's nothing exciting. This shade specifically very NARS Orgasm. Um, let's see. I think the last thing was this primer grip. Out of the two primers, just today, I'm definitely more of a fan of this power grip primer. It really did make it tacky to where the foundation stuck to it and it didn't mess with my pores. However, I do want to test again to make sure that it wasn't just that silicone sponge. So, but as of today, yeah, this is actually really nice and in my opinion works better than the Milk Makeup one. I had an issue with that and um, got rid of it. So, this, this may be something worth checking out. <sighs> I think that's finally it. All right, so I will be adding either in this video or possibly the next one where I try the other three products, the, um, melting balm and the cleanser. So, that is my pretty much full face of e.l.f. haul try on. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know down below. Have you tried any of these new things? What are your favorites? What products have you tried where you're like, uh -uh. even old products? Because I mean, this is old, this powder, but it's a new discovery for me. So just let me know any of your comments down below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.